We're gonna see what happens. I have no idea. Okay. I like it. Good, okay. good morning. Good afternoon. Happy good next evening. day. I don't know what what time zone are you in? <laughs> um, Laurel, start moving around so I can see how you're are you in slow mo? No, you seem to be in fast motion now. All right, we're late. Fast I'm motion. Stuck in slow motion. <laughs> okay. Uh hi, welcome to episode two of this should have been a podcast, but we don't know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> we want a podcast we don't know how to do that so you just get to see us live oh and gosh. this is what you get uh hold on i gotta edit this video and figure out how to tag her and then uh listen if you're catching us live right now first of all say hello tell us where you're coming from i don't see it us you don't see us i see us i think you're just messed up hold on oh it's because i'm editing the thing hold on oh wait i see us okay there um, we are. <laughs> wherever you are, there you are. <laughs> wherever you are, there you are. <laughs> Here I am. Is that, is that how that? And I don't. That's not how it goes. I just Google it. Wherever you are, there you are. That's not it. That I think that's it. Okay. Yeah. So, sure it is. Sure, it's got to be it. Anyway, wherever you go, there you are. That's what. It is. <laughs> Yes, I did Google it. <laughs> oh, you cheater. Actual quote. So uh, here's how this works. One, we're just going to talk and ask each other questions. And if you have anything that you want to share, you could private message us and we will share your stuff uh, secretly, anonymously, and just tell us your secrets. Tell us what you want us to share. Um, I know you have them. I was actually reading today all the secrets that people keep. And like, uh, it's pretty How are you reading about it if they keep them? Um, there's like statistics on all the different secrets people keep. Sounds shady. It is shady. People should share them so we can read them. <laughs> well, what are they? I want to hear about them. Let's talk about other people's secrets. <laughs> what does your cup say? All mama was <laughs> wanted was a silent night. <laughs> yeah. It says, I love coffee or is it wine? <laughs> kidding. It's coffee. It's so you, you seen that where you blow on your, yeah. blow on your wine? <laughs> <laughs> all right all right so um while we're waiting for your secrets if you have any i think don't you have to go today really i don't anymore i did have to go but then i i changed my appointment so um, this, non I got all day. this non podcast was more important yes hmm, okay. exactly you never know how long the fake podcast is gonna go so here's what's really interesting today i'm doing two zooms on this page one, you're going to see me in my natural state of just having fun. And then later today it might be a little bit more emotional because I'm actually going to be sharing my story and all the stuff that I've in been through. In your natural state, like you're a zoo animal <laughs> in her natural habitat, putting licorice in her living room. <laughs> Let me tell you, I have been on the hunt for red vines for like three months. I literally, every store I go into, I'm like, do you carry red vines? I'm down the candy. Up. Remember we were just in- I know, uh, and you had to settle for Twizzlers. And I was mad because that's mm -hmm. all I could find is Twizzlers. So I went to the store yesterday and they have an Easter version of red vines. And so I bought like $5 worth. I'm just like, I was just like- I see up. that box is empty. So congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that wasn't all me, okay? Right. My husband took some, my children took some, but that is the second box gone. <laughs> Popped in last night. <laughs> so it's an Easter version. Do they taste like different, like for Easter or just it has a no, no. bunny on it? Just the box looks bunny. <laughs> just, okay. just the box has a bunny on We're it. We're not going to change a damn thing except this bunny right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Call it Easter. Perfect. And charge you like two more dollars because now Probably. it's a holiday version. Because now yeah. it's a holiday version. Okay. Yeah. All right, so you you start with the questions because last week oh. I started. Okay, so Seriously, if anybody knows how to start a podcast, could you tell us? I mean, I'm sure we could Google it and figure it out, but it just help. I us. could Google it right now. That'd be fun. I need a podcast. I don't know if you need a podcast. I would listen to us. I would listen to us while I was driving, but not like if I had something better to do. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm going to jump right into the would you rathers because these are my favorite. Okay. 
Would you rather? Am I slow? I mean, is my computer <laughs> slow? Okay. Would you rather have telekinesis, right? Which is the ability to move things with your mind uh -huh. or telepathy, which is the ability to read minds? So I would rather have, be able to move things. Um, I've actually already thought about this question before because you have, uh, my kids like to ask me now you're moving in like fast speed. Like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, for me, I don't want to know what everybody's thinking. Like that just sounds like a headache. Um, I don't think that I want to be able to like what I, I don't like, I don't even like, um, that. Okay. I'm watching a show on Netflix. And uh, I swear I know somebody from the show. So I was like Googling her to like, cause I feel like I actually know her. And when I Googled her, it told me the results of the show. And then I was really mad. Cause I'm like, now I know. Mm -hmm. I don't like knowing. I don't, I don't like knowing. And I feel like if I could read people's mind then I would know things and I don't want to know things. So I just like, I want to move things. <laughs> you don't want to know things. Great. I just, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to know what you're saying about me. I can't tell if I'm in glitch mode on real in real life or just in my life. <laughs> but I see I myself glitching. I I don't know if you're on like the speed mode or slow mode. <laughs> I think what's happening is you like are glitching and like it starts slowing down and then it it's catches. Like, <laughs> It's all like, Meh. <laughs> um, so okay. here's the thing, like, can, if you're going to be moving things, mm -hmm. so like when people are like, where's my blah, blah, blah. And you're like, I don't actually know. Can you figure out where it is to move it to somewhere where you know where it is? If you don't know where it already was, or do you have to know where it is in order to move it where you want it to go? Uh, I don't think it works like that. I think you need to be able to see it to move it. But like, sometimes I feel like that would be so helpful, right? But like, sometimes I'm laying in bed and I will literally lay there and do this with my hand because I want my bedroom door shut, but I don't want to get out of bed. And I just, I really want my bedroom door shut. And I'm like, come, it's going to work one of these times, right? What if it uh, did? Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes it does because I'll text my kids and say, hey, come here. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes mine does because my heater kicks on and it shuts the door and I'm like, mm, perfect. So, and then I also would need to know like the ability to read minds. Is it like all the time? Like on that, remember that movie, um, mm. what women want or whatever with what's his face. That's what I'm saying. I don't want, that sounds like a headache. Or is it like selective? Like, I really wish I knew what you were thinking right now. And then I can figure it out. And then I'm like, oh, I wish I didn't know that. Or is it like all the thoughts of all the people you're around all the time? So, uh, I just, I just watched Roswell. And one of the, one of the alien girls, she has this ability where she can like look you in the eye and like come into your mind space. And like, she's just to everyone else. She's just standing there looking at you, but you guys are like in this like moment where she can talk to you, control you. She could get you to do things. And like, she can say like, you're leaving town. And then like, you know, snap back and she's just smiling at you. And then the girl's like, I just feel like I'm leaving town. I got to leave. And then she just leaves. So like, that would be cool. Well, that would be cool. <laughs> that'd be cool. Just like stare at people and just make them do stuff. Yeah. I'd I feel like, like that's that. what the news does already. <laughs> uh, yeah. I feel yeah. like, yeah. That's called, <laughs> never mind. That's They're like, you're running do. low on toilet paper. And you're like, I need more toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, for real. That's, that's you know? actually a thing that really does. Yeah. Uh, okay, so my question I'm is, oh, I have this or that questions instead of would you rather? Ooh, okay, I like it. Um, would you? Hmm. 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 Well, these are dumb. The beach, <laughs> the beach or mountains? Yes. <laughs> yes, I like both of those places. If I have to pick one, okay, but like I have to pick one forever. <laughs> sure. No. Just which, which one do you prefer? <laughs> I have to see the houses, but probably the beach because I feel like the mountains, depending on where you pick, like the store is so far away. Right. But see, now they have like drone delivery. 
So okay, that's kind of weird. Kind of like you drop your stuff off. Okay, so Mackenzie picked up Kennedy um, last week for spring break, and so mm -hmm. Kennedy got to like spend the night out in LA with her, and she said they saw those robot delivery robots, mm -hmm. <laughs> whatever. Like that's weird. They have, um, I see people all the time, like I'm trying this new Starbucks delivery and they're just like waiting. And then like all of a sudden this little like just drops the box and it like parachutes down. It just drops your cup of coffee and you're like, oh, <laughs> <don't get> it. <laughs> and then it spills and then you're like, damn. Yeah, so is it? I think that it, I'm not sure if it's like glitching on here. It looks fine. I don't know. Let's I see, see myself happens. glitching, but it could just be the aliens. So I'm not it's sure. Pro it's probably. All right. So um, pancakes or waffles? I'm not really a huge fan of either. Omelet. Omelet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. omelet. I, I guess actually, pancakes. Oh, crepes. Yeah. Okay. So the waffles are good. They're just more considerate pancakes. They're more they considerate? Have, yeah, they're more they have because they trap your because they, they have trap your syrup. Yeah. I like to dip my bacon and my sausage in syrup. Oh, so do I. I like yeah. actually like it on my eggs too, like scrambled eggs. Okay, that's just weird. Mm, Ooh, do you but, put ketchup on your eggs? Those people uh sometimes I have. Um it depends. I have in the past, but I just I don't anymore, but I have. You guys put ketchup on your eggs. Mm -hmm. And if you do, what's wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong? What's wrong with you for putting ketchup on your you? eggs? What happened to you as a child that you feel the need to Do put ketchup? That. <laughs> um, but I, I would actually, just like you, prefer an omelet over both of those. So, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, your I'm turn. Not a huge. Also, I had a really hard time like making pancakes because some of them come out amazing and some of them come out kind of like shit. So Debbie bought me this pancake maker. <laughs> it's like idiot proof pancake pan it like has like these little circles and you pour it in there and then the lid closes and then you just flip the whole thing mm. yeah I don't so know it's kind of like a waffle maker but for pancakes <laughs> <laughs> okay it's an inconsiderate waffle maker <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay so what what's your next question go I don't know I flipped out of that screen because I thought we were doing this or that Okay. Uh well, um wait. I don't like oh, any wow. of these questions. <clears throat> Ew, I don't want to do either. I also have never have I ever questions. Oh, that sounds scary. All right, let's go through that. I have 20 of them. Let's see. I haven't really read through them, but let's see. I All have right. what's right. a relatable question and also I do both of these things. Okay, do it. Ask, would what? you rather buy 10 things you don't need every time you go shopping or always forget the one thing that you need every time you go shopping? I feel like it's the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you always like forget because you bought the 10 things we didn't need. Right. So I'm like, I feel like that's not even a real question. Those are the same exact. It's like, would you rather try to spend a dollar at, at Target dollar spot, which you end up leaving with $800 is the same time anytime you go to Costco. You're like, I went in for literally one thing and you come out and you're like, that's, I didn't even get one thing, but I got all these other things. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. Tell me. We, yours. we didn't even need that thing. My husband gets mad because he's always like women. Will spend, spend. Yeah. But he's like, women will spend $1 on an, I uh, on a, what is it? $1. Or two dollars on a dollar item that they didn't need and men will spend i don't know what it is it's a dumb quote i see i even forgot it so i'm gonna google it <laughs> scratch that all right how, how do you want to do this there's 20 we're gonna like hold up fingers let's go with 10 and hold up fingers oh, okay sure 10 fingers and if you have okay so wait so let me ask you if if you've done it do we put one down yes okay okay so um, number one is never have I ever been in a life or death situation. So if you if you have, you put it down, right? Well, like, I feel like any car accident you've ever been in counts. But like, I've been like 
uh, crawling through drive-by shootings, trying to not get shot. So well, um, I've never that, done that. I feel like that's a life or death situation. Um, so my car accidents don't count because I could be like 10 fingers. <laughs> I mean, but like, were they like fender benders, your car totaled, if your car was totaled or if it's really bad, then that counts. But if it was like a fender bender and you were like, hey, you scratched my paint, like that doesn't count. <laughs> my car like spun out on the freeway across three lanes and hit a pole, but I didn't hit any other cars. I'm going to count that though, because okay. that's scary as shit. My left lower control arm broke on my car in the middle of the freeway. It was scary as all crap. Oh my God. Have you seen that video going around viral right now of like the car coming on the freeway? There's like a truck and then a car and then like the tire like explodes, just like falls off of the yes, truck and, and the it car like, hits it. It's all bing. And I'm like, yeah, launched. And then the tire comes back and hits it from behind. Like that was unnecessary. Oh my God. Okay. Number <laughs> okay. two. Never have I ever told someone they look nice when they, when I really didn't mean it. Wait, what? Never have I ever. I don't like the never have I ever. Okay. So basically you lied to someone's face about the way they look. Yes. Oh, you look so nice. <laughs> uh, I'm not telling you. Could have been you. <laughs> Yeah, probably, it's probably I my snake shirt. Zebra. I love that. Well, my zebra, zebra shirt. That's it. I love that shirt. In the fire. <laughs> Don't ever wear that shirt around me again. Everybody else loved that shirt. So F off. And then you're walking. You're like, there's another zebra. There's another. I know. Zebra. We were like multiplying in our natural habitat. See, you saw us. Zebra. <laughs> okay. Never have I ever been caught urinating in public. Oh, for sure. Well, being caught, maybe not, but I haven't. But let me tell you, let me tell you a, a story real quick. I oh have my not. god, I have. Okay. But listen, when we were 16, we were going to the NSYNC Britney Spears concert. Okay. My friend's mom was driving us. She got us a bunch of alcohol. It was a long time ago, so she can't get in trouble. I'm over age now. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> so we are driving and we have our special cups filled with alcohol. We're getting super wasted before we even get to the park, to the thing, to the concert. And as we're getting off the freeway, my friend has to pee really, really bad. But like, it's like gridlock because we're headed to sync, right? Mm -hmm. And then, so we're like, there's a wall on the, on the off ramp right here. And then we were like, just pull over and let her pee. And then she's like, I don't want to pee because someone's going to see me. And we're like, there are thousands of people at going to this concert, no one's going to see you. And this is uh, kids before cell phones. So there was like no one to take pictures of us. We didn't have mm -hmm. that at this time, thankfully. Um, and so uh, this is, we had disposable cameras. So I had to like take a picture of her. And, and then like rewind picture. the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Thing. And then get it to the next picture, but don't go too far. Cause you don't want to accidentally snap it and waste the picture. You want to yeah. hold it like right. Trash. right yeah. Okay. Anyways. So um, we get over, me and my other friend were like holding up something, trying so that she could pee on the side of the road. She pees, we get back in the car, we're driving, we get to the concert, we park, it's whatever. This is like, I mean, it's like, oh, it feels like an hour later because of how long it took to get off the freeway, go park and everything. We're walking in, we hear this group of people like, aren't you the girl who peed on the side of that freeway? And we're like, they saw you, you're famous. <laughs> <laughs> you could have been viral. <laughs> but see, like, good thing. We did some dumb stuff that like, I would never do that now because you will be on the internet, but like, it was okay then because there wasn't this. So, so I was, I think I had finished like work or something. I don't know. It was like late, late at night, like two, three in the morning. You know what I mean? And I was driving home and I had to pee, but nothing was open and whatever. So I'm in a parking lot and I open my driver door and my passenger door, you know what I mean? And you like sit on the like whatever that thing is of your car so that you don't get pee in your car right but you like pee you have to sit down and I had like just finished and I'm pulling in my pants and a police car drives up <laughs> I was like oh my god I'm so in trouble for like peeing in the parking lot but no they were just like what are you doing and I was like I had to be so bad and there was nothing open yeah it's like all... you know, home. I was like I'm no, going home but I was, up. I was drunk <laughs> I probably was drunk who knows but I was terrified because I was like if you had pulled up a couple seconds sooner, I would have had my pants full down. Like, oh pee. my gosh, oh yeah. my gosh. Okay, so wait. So I only have, I only have two down because I've never been caught. That was my friend. That was you. Okay, so All I right. have three down. No, next one. Never have I ever cried at a Disney film. Every I cry at I cry at AT and T commercial. Oh my god. So the the <laughs> most, 
the most like that I've ever done it. And my family still laughs at me because they always know I'm going to cry. And it's, they always know they'll look at me. They'll look at me in a crying moment to see if I'm crying. Right. Like anyways, Moana, Moana got me the most. Okay. Actually, I don't think I've ever cried for a Disney film. Yes. Just regular film. I can't talk to you right hey, now. Hey, we're on a call. I'm Listen, you this. So, you know the part where on Moana, when her uh, grandma is the stingray at Aww. the end? I was like sitting there watching it and I was like, oh. <laughs> I just started like screaming and bawling. And okay. So, yeah. No, I, I don't think the Disney movie, but literally any other movie or commercial or anything. Uh, okay. Well, Never have I ever not followed a passion because of uh, what others might think. That's stupid. Next. Okay. <laughs> Never have I ever called my partner's ex by, wait, my partner, my ex, his name. I've never called my partner, my ex's name. That would be. I don't think I have. I, Aaron has done that to me when we were fighting one time. He was like, Christine, I was like. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I've never, but my aunt did. My aunt called my husband my ex's name. <laughs> You're like, but I haven't. I would never. I don't never think I ever have. That. I would never do that. Um, <clears throat> never. Have I ever talked to my dog like they're a real person? Everybody but me. What kind of psychopath doesn't talk to their dog like they're a real person? Yeah. Well, I was just talking to mine this morning like he was real. Um, well, they are real. They're just maybe not people. <laughs> they're better than people. So never have I ever been punched in the face. No. I've been punched in the face. I'm going to punch you in the face. I've punched somebody in the face before. I've definitely punched people in the face. Uh, never have I ever overdraft my bank account. Boom. I'm probably overdraft <laughs> right now. <laughs> never have I ever shoplifted. That's never a long time ago. I, yeah, I know. But it still counts. Never. Like, how did I pass you up? Because you punched oh. somebody in the face or you got punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> never have I ever been arrested I've, I've been, been in the back of a cop car I've been very close I've had like, a cop telling me ma'am I'm gonna put you in the car and I'm like I didn't do anything <laughs> I've been in the back of a cop car twice I've never been like handcuffed or arrested okay well, one time I, I got in there by myself <laughs> <laughs> never have I ever cheated on an exam you know what though <laughs> cheating is actually helpful because you make this like note card of notes, but really that's like studying. And then you don't need it as much as you think you do, but you still kind of need it a little. So in high school, I was failing, uh, barely, <coughs> barely graduating, barely passing. I was the only senior in like this freshman, sophomore math class that I had to pass mm -hmm. in order to graduate. And uh, so I would come in and I would just sit in the back and put my hood on if I did come to class because it was sixth period, I didn't even care to go. But mm -hmm. I would like sit there the teacher it was his first year at our school he loved me he was this like, old dude he like loved me he would like get all googly eyed like talking to me so i kind of like used that i mean i was like 17 and so i'd be all like oh mister can i not come to class and like i just need to pass or i'm not going to graduate he would be like oh don't worry so um he told me that i had to be there on this specific day because there was a big test and he couldn't just give me a grade so I come into class. I haven't been to math class in forever. I come into class. I have my hood on. I look at the kid next to me who's like a really, really smart kid. And I was like, give me your test. And he was like, I'm not getting in trouble. So I like grab his test. Look at all his answer. I write it down. I hand him his test back. I go turn mine in. I leave. Uh, they, we get our test back. Mine had a big old A on it. <laughs> it's had a C. I don't know. I copied exactly what he did. <laughs> I don't know what The questions got. are probably out of order. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like to like make it different. I don't know what he got wrong, but <laughs> I got an A. <laughs> oh my gosh. I By the way, so much in high school. It's horrible. When I say I was a different person, this is 20 years ago. High school was 20 years ago for me. I was a very different person then. High school was five years ago for me. So but that's crazy because like your kids are all in college. So <laughs> my kids are out of college. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, never have I ever fainted in public. Oh my gosh, I did. 
I did. That's how I found out I was pregnant with McKinsey. I fainted at like, I just got this brand new job and I freaking fainted in the middle of the day. And they're like, get her orange juice, get her all this stuff. And then I am apparently I was pregnant. That's wow. Me. So I, uh, I was my I'm birthday party. I I'm out of fingers. So um, you win this round. So I had um, my birthday party. Um, my grandma had just passed away like a couple of days before my birthday, but then like we had people come over anyways, like later to celebrate. So somebody brought me this like big giant balloon and uh, I was like walking down the street with them and I was sucking the helium out of it. And they were like, see how much, like my voice kept changing. And so I wanted to like get more to see if it would keep getting higher. And the next thing I know, um, I woke up with people over me, smacking me. I almost died. I literally on my birthday almost died because I sucked so much helium that it like tried to kill me. And I just it, like fell down and passed out. It like took over your oxygen. Uh-huh. I almost died. So that was a fun story. Uh, so you won um, that round. Let's see, where, where are we at? Let's do this again. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we have seven questions, okay? So, okay. Oh, I have to put back up seven fingers? Back up seven, we're back up, yeah, back up mm -hmm. seven fingers. Well, do I get eight? Because I had an extra finger. But you won the first round. We're just starting okay. at seven again. All right. Um, what? <laughs> Never have I ever been so drunk that I've woken up in someone's garden. No, I've never woken up in someone's garden. That sounds like a movie. <laughs> never have I ever fallen asleep while in a meeting at work. The Zoom count? <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> I have turned on a Zoom and just laid back in bed. <laughs> right, I'm here. I'm Count my attendance. <laughs> don't tell don't tell anyone that uh never have I ever been on tv I have I have too I have been on tv never have I ever been to a nudist beach I have not me either I have not that sounds fun but scary like do I have to go naked <clears throat> or just go look at all the naked people well a lot of people that go to those are like people you don't actually want to see naked probably you know what I mean like you're like you are confident. <laughs> <laughs> True. Okay. Uh, never have I ever laughed so hard. I wet myself. We together we right now. I just made my hands right now. <laughs> um, that's one thing we always have to bring together is extra pants because we're going to pee when we laugh so hard. For sure. Um, that just happened in Charlotte. Uh, never have I ever taken drugs. Okay. So let's talk about this because you're going to leave your finger up right now. Really? I'm, I'm asking a question. <laughs> no, you put your finger down. All of First them. of all, weed's not a drug. So I'm not putting my finger down for that. Still a drug. But no, it's not. Yeah. No, it's not. Uh, let's let's ask. Sure. Let's ask. Who's on? If you're watching, is weed a drug? Are we counting it as a drug? Somebody answered the question so I know if I have to put a finger down. Also, but my next question while we're waiting for an answer on Wait that. a damn minute. You're telling it, me weed's the only drug you've ever done? But like, I'm asking a question. I've never done drugs intentionally. I had something laced before and I don't know what it was. I don't know what I've taken, but I did get, um, I did get drugged. So does that count? Drugs intentionally? I've never done drugs. <clears throat> that's weird well I come from a family of drug addicts and I want nothing to do with that are they the ones who laced you no I was at a party so um hi I see people watching could you tell us does it I'll count it whatever okay um the last one how many fingers do you have up three I have three okay never have I ever sung into my hairbrush thinking I was a world-class singer everything's done well. hairbrush fake microphone literally everything so uh -huh. one of the would you rather questions let me find it is would you rather find the question or make it up on your own <laughs> <laughs> and i'm i'm fine with either one would you rather 
be forced to sing along or dance to every single song you hear. And again, I feel like that's the same thing. You do, you do both. I do both. And I'm horrible at both of them and I do them anyways. And I don't care. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like my nude beach. <laughs> Very confident. Like, I'm like, you don't think I should be here? Don't care. Here I am. <laughs> Not confident because I know it's trash, but like, I don't care enough to not do okay. it. <clears throat> Would you rather be invisible or able to fly? Ooh, I have questions. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, can I be invisible only where I'm at? Or is it like that whole like transport thing where I can be invisible wherever I want to be? Also, can I fly like wherever I want? Like, or like just, I can fly like a bird, like in the air and people can see me flying. Am I flying like Superman? <laughs> can I bring baggage with me and a guest? Like I have, I need to know. Just say, we always have baggage wherever we go <laughs> at this point. <laughs> so it's always coming. <laughs> it's come um, naturally. <laughs> hmm. Probably fly. Okay. I think I'd want to be, well, I think I want to fly too, because I, I also want to be invisible because I want to just sneak into people's rooms and see what's going on. I bet you do. <laughs> like, like not their bedrooms, <laughs> but just like, you know, like I want to like see what people are doing, but you don't want to read their thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Look, I like, I like to learn from watching. So sometimes <laughs> I just want to watch, like, can I just see what you're doing? <laughs> yeah. Know. You don't sound creepy at all. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> what else? Are we about done? What else? I don't know. Wait. I keep closing out of the screen because I feel like it keeps making me glitchy. But if, it you, might be. if you had a paid year off work, how would you spend it? I have questions. <laughs> <laughs> How much am I getting paid? <laughs> because like, if it's like not enough to do other things, if it's just enough to like paycheck the paycheck paid, then like, I'm probably just going to pay bills and binge watch something on TV. Okay. So hold on. We're going to pause that question and we're going to go back to <laughs> our, our fingers up. I get to put a finger back up. So I won the second round because said? Renee said weed is not a drug. It's a healing plant. So, well, so is cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> it you. Is it probably like you're, are you sure you're not on it today? Your Zoom is like, <laughs> right, you're welcome. I might be right back. Gotta go clean my kitchen <laughs> for 20 minutes. <laughs> then I need new inspiration. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh my gosh. Uh, so I'm actually allergic to NyQuil. There's something in NyQuil that makes my body feel like I just like took speed or something. So, uh, if I take it, um, there was one instance that I remember my body was going so fast. I was shaking and I was like looking in all the cupboards and I was like in the kitchen, like trying to find stuff. And they're like, what's going on with you? And I'm like, I, I, I can't, I, gotta, uh, I can't, I can't, but that's like literally what I cannot take NyQuil because it's, it, it messes me up. Like I, I'm NyQuil. like I'm so fast. Yeah. That's weird. What is in NyQuil? I feel like you need to Google it and tell me what's in. I actually don't know, but it literally makes me like, um, it, it's like, like I took speed or something. Like I'm just like, Brr. yeah. Hmm. So, um, hi, uh, there's people watching. So if you're watching, we're, uh, looking for would you rathers or, your dirty secrets that you can send us anonymously. Let me go check my message. Oh, so we asked for this last time and I didn't get the actual secrets yet, but I did get an offer to have the secrets sent to me 
about hmm. breathing techniques. <laughs> oh, yes. But I don't know what they are yet. So, and also really it doesn't matter for me. So, but I'll send them to you if you want. <laughs> I can read. <laughs> well, we'll figure that out when we get the techniques. Okay. The mascara is like on top of my eyelid. All right. Well, this has been fun. We're going to figure out how to stream it onto both pages and or sure, have a podcast. podcast. We need, I want like a microphone and like, like a little, are we DJs, you know, <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. We're going to figure out how to get a podcast. This I want is, one of those baby microphones. It's like, beep, beep, beep. This is the start of our podcast. Um, what are you doing today? I am going down to get my glasses fixed because I got a scratch on them. Can you see this? You see how yeah. blind I am? Mm -hmm. whoa um <laughs> anyway I got a scratch on them at Magic Mountain and well now I can't see very well but I already couldn't see very well so I don't know if that has anything to do with the scratch but they're under warranty so get them fixed <laughs> oh goodness yeah that's my plan for today what are you doing I'm going to um well, in a little bit, I have to do, I don't have to, um, I'm doing an interview, uh, oh, that's with right. Dr. Phil, it's going to be Dr. Super Phil, cool. Dr. Phil guys, this guy is amazing. Just so you know, so he is a pilot, which is crazy to me because like for real, okay. Like I thought that like, well, I'm sure that you actually do, but like he basically like Ubered the other night and it was crazy to me to hear because he was like, we were on a call together. He did, um, he came into my team page and he was like sharing and presenting to my team. And then the next day I was going to go into his team and share with his team. But in between that time, which was literally like less than 24 hour period, it feels like he like went and like, he lives in Austin and just mm -hmm. like drop people off on a plane in Chicago and then came back and then was like, hi, I'm here for our Zoom now. And I was like, like Uber, like you just drop people off in Chicago and like, we're done. We're that playing Uber. Was, yeah. That was so crazy. <laughs> like I'm jet lagged. I need time now. <laughs> he just flew a plane. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. I wonder how that works. Like, do you just not get jet lagged if you're a pilot? I don't know. It was pretty cool though. Cause so he, um, he went to, um, he's a pilot and then he's also a chiropractor and does medical practices. So he's literally a doctor and a pilot at the same time. Yeah. So, ladies, he's pretty awesome. <laughs> Welcome to we're hooking Dr. Phil. He also is like a, um, <laughs> he goes like Anytime there's like fresh powder, he goes skiing. Yeah, he actually told me that he was a uh, cross country, um, like he did it competitively across the country. And he's like, I might as well just fly there. This is so taking so much time, <laughs> <laughs> so time consuming to ski all the way across the country. That's it. I'm getting my pilot's license. Forget it. <laughs> so, oh, my back hurts. Oh, I should be a chiropractor. It's <laughs> great. <laughs> I never asked him the background, but I just figured it out. So. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is so awesome. So uh, we will be on later today, um, sharing my story, and um, that's what I'm doing today. I'm just hanging out until I do that, doing some work. I participated. I, like I made a flyer for it. Well, you can you can join the live. Thank you for the flyer. It was very cute. It's cute, huh? By the way, uh, yeah. So <clears throat> that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna do some work, and um, I'm reading. I'm reading a book. So I'm going to read a little bit today. So now you're on like your 40th book for the month or whatever, mm. whatever. You know what? And so I set that goal for myself to do minimum of 30 books this year. And I did the math and it's like two and a half books a month is what I need to read. Mm -hmm. And then I went crazy and read six books in a month. And then the next month read five books. And so I'm at 11 books just coming out of February. And then when we got into March, I started, uh, I started this book and look at this. I'm not even like, 
I'm only this far in and I started at the beginning of March. It's so hard to read that my mind just is like, but I want to read it. Um, It's called Stoicism and the Art of Happiness. So it's learning that, um, first of all, I didn't know. I thought it was just a word, Uh, but apparently they were real people. Like the Stoics were real people. So I'm like reading this book and I really want to actually read it because I'm really I want to learn the stoic philosophy, but it's a really hard read. So in the meantime, then I started reading another book that I thought would also help me like have a book to read. So I'm reading this book called How to Inhabit Time. And it's also a very hard read. So is it because we have all the time travel questions that you're trying to like figure out how you can manipulate the time probably. space continuum? Probably. That's probably what I'm that's probably what I'm doing here. Um, so this one I'm really trying to get through also. And so I can't. And so then I gave my brain a break and I went and just read this murder mystery book. And it was so good that I read 365 pages in less than three days because it was so good. And then I walked around, told my whole family about the book and we talked about the book, like they were real people. And so I was like, you'll never guess what happened to Charlie. Oh, you did tell me about that kind of last week because immediately I was like, he won the golden ticket in my brain, but I didn't say it out loud. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, <laughs> that's the only Charlie I know. <laughs> that was a good book. It was so sad. It was like this, this girl, like, uh, backed into her neighbor's three-year-old and killed him. And she could hear the mom running around and like freaking out, looking for him. And she was like high on Adderall and Red Bulls and all these things, staying up all night to like study for a test. So she panicked seeing her best friend the neighbor's three-year-old dead behind her car so she picked up the body put it in her garage put a tarp over it and left it and then went and did all of her stuff for the day meanwhile now the police are here they're looking for the little boy they have no idea they questioned her she's like i don't know i haven't seen him i wasn't even home and then the husband comes home definitely not under tarp in my garage (laughs) (laughs) right the husband comes home he's like we actually need to uh go see them that's our best friends their kids missing she's like i can't go over there he makes her go over there. She cries more than the mom. The mom actually has to stop crying to help her because she doesn't understand like why she's crying so bad over her son. They go home. She's like, tells her husband, like, I need to tell you something. Like I killed him. He's dead in our garage. He's freaking out. Like, what are you talking about? So the husband's now mad. He goes out into the garage and the tarp is moving. The kid's alive. So he goes over and like smothers him. So now the husband actually kills the kid. Why did they just like, like take the tarp off and be like, we found your kid. He was in hiding in our garage, accidentally <laughs> run over by somebody. So they like crawled into our garage, take his body and they dump it on the side of the road somewhere like far from their house in this tarp and they leave it. And they're like, don't worry. Like the farmer will find it. And like, we, we cleaned up everything. So they're not going to know it was us, blah, blah, blah. Right. So then like time starts going by and the body's not found and all this stuff. And meanwhile, they're trying to hold it together because they're like, oh my God, like, can we just find the body? Like, so that we could move on. And yeah. um, so next thing you know, it's like 30 days later, by the way, all these other secrets start popping up about the marriages, about the, like all this crazy stuff, like a tragedy secrets just like came to the surface. So you're like, the little boy's not even the concern right now. We're, we're worried about all the other stuff. Anyways, <clears throat> They, the girl freaks out. She's like, I need to go see why the body hasn't been found yet. She goes, body's gone. It's not even there. It's not even, it's not even there. So now she's like, who has his body? Where's he at? Turns out the psycho neighbor was watching with binoculars, watched her hit him, watched her hide him, watched them take his body, followed them to see what they were doing. And then realized that the little boy wasn't dead. He was just severely like passed out, had a concussion, took his body and he had him this entire time in his basement, fixed him up. And since his little boy died when he was little because of the same girl that hit him, he was going to kidnap this little kid because now he's missing. He's just going to take him and he was planning on moving and leaving and running away with this little boy. So um, super crazy. So Charlie All did the- get the golden ticket. Sounds like. yeah, Charlie did. He did get to go home. Oh, okay. And everything was fine because the girl who thought she killed him ended up killing the old man to get Charlie back. 
And then when she went to give Charlie to the mom and now we're all good, it just looks like this psycho did it, except for one thing. He also had the tarp that Charlie was wrapped in and the paint splatters on the tarp matched her living room. So when they were in there, the detective was like, I've seen that color paint before. And then like, it turns out she, she got busted anyways. It could have been a movie for the whole thing. It was insane. I was in it, like, could not like what Charlie, what's happening to Charlie. So Charlie kind of got the golden ticket, but also has like a lifetime of therapy to deal with. You know, there is no point to these um, Zooms that we do right now. <laughs> we literally just want to hang out and Wait, talk. does someone need a point? And so, no, I'm just thinking about it. Like, who the hell is going to sit here and watch this? Um, this is why we're saying we need a podcast, just because I know someone would listen to the podcast, right? So, all right, I'm going to go. And then I will be back later. And it will, I promise, be interesting, more interesting than Laurel. I am extremely offended. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. I tune in next week for who knows what the fuck we'll talk about. <laughs> and hopefully you're not all zoomy. Yeah. On Zoom. I know. I need to fix it. I don't know. I happened. think the craziest thing, I don't know if you know this, but your eyeballs keep zooming around. Stop it. Your eyeballs. It's like you get stuck and your eyeballs are all because I'm like looking at you, but then I try to look at the camera, but then I also and then myself. it freezes and then it tries to catch up. So your eyeballs go that's fun. See? Laurel is on drugs today. All right. See, maybe it should be a video because the podcast you wouldn't even see all that. Yeah, but you can you can record it. I'm not on drugs, I'm on coffee. <laughs> which also caffeine is a drug so it's a plant <laughs> we know how that turned out okay <laughs> okay all right we love you bye, bye.